Hello, welcome back to A Keeper of the Prophecies. So, Garrett is still poisoned, and uh, the poison's having a very rapid effect, and the Keeper's told him the only thing that's going to keep the poison at bay is by travelling through... Uh, travelling through some kind of portal to some other world or other dimension or something where time doesn't flow the same way, so the poison won't progress. Now very conveniently, in the Hammerhead Cathedral uh, just last episode, we found that uh, Karis had such a portal uh, that he had working that the precursors had made, and we managed to turn it on and jump through it. And uh, now well, now we're on the other side of uh, whatever it is. Don't know what it is, don't know where we're going. Only hopefully this means the poison, we won't be uh, running into a time limit with the poison all the time. Uh, which would, you know, previously gave us a two hour time limit for each level, which is on easy. Which is not bad. Uh, we did both of them in, uh, with definitely with time to spare, not always with lots of time to spare. Anyway, uh, I'm going to get started and see what is on the other side of this portal now. You are still poisoned! And according to the Keepers, the antidote can only be found by travelling to this side of time. Find the antidote. The Wayward Hammerite Explorers may be fanatics, but they do not deserve to die. Do not harm any of them. Alright, we'll get up to hard, as usual. Um, now that there's no longer a time limit. I was on normal the last two missions, because that way the time limit, the... Uh, that probably the mission creator put in was two hours. Uh, on hard it was 90 minutes, and on expert it was like 60 minutes. So, Oracle of the Prophets. You are traveling to an unknown place and time. with the moon to find an antidote for the poison in your blood that is what the keepers say is here but they did not say what else you would find Or how you might never have come here at all. Had you known what lay across your path. First around the other side, there's some machinery here with fire arrows. And some other arrows, in fact. Uh, there's, that might not be the moon, because there's another... Brothers, hast thou finally returned to save me? Oh, please, please say it is so. Yeah, I don't like the looks of this. Thou art not a member of the Order. Who fears thou? If thou art yet another apparition, then be gone with thee. Be gone, lest I smite thee. Away, away. In the name of... 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 <laughs> oh, please, don't hurt me. Hey, hey, pal. As far as I know, you are some kind of nutcase in my dream. 
So maybe you should calm down for a minute and tell me what the hell is going on around here. <laughs> oh, wee. This hallucination of mine's getting more annoying by the minute. Better find that antidote the Keepers think is down here, then find some way out, if there is one. All right, well, we have somebody who's not happy in here, who seems to be stuck, I guess. Uh, I thought we were from the Hammerite Order. So as I was just saying, that's not the moon, because there's another planety mini thing up there. Uh, it's a very interesting sky, and I don't know where we are. But I'm going to start with a hard suit. And what equipment do we have starting off? Oh, we have uh, some moss arrows and water arrows. And one healing potion. And of course, Judy, who we're bringing on this adventure. And we still have the watch, although now it's always midnight, apparently. Rope that's, arrow, that's handy. So we've got one, well, oh, three rope arrows. And a shovel if we need a shovel. I don't think we need a shovel. Oh, wow, there's very low gravity here. Uh, okay, uh, let's go see if we can follow this guy and see what he's up to. Otherwise, I might. After that, I might try going up the way. Wasn't he over here? Whoa, he's gonna, he's gonna take a lot of getting used to. I don't know anymore what I can safely jump down from. <laughs> and what I will. what heights will hurt me. Oh shit. That's probably not friendly. Uh, okay, so this isn't. That's necessarily a very safe place to hang out. Noted, that's another one of those things. Uh, I don't have a map, of course. That makes sense, but... Uh, I wonder if I can knock these things out. Wonder if I should even try. Oh, what is going on there? Uh, there's a bunch of uh, mutants from System Shock Two, in fact. Pool of lava. All right, I'm not going to go this way. So, uh, yeah, I didn't expect to run into the mini, but uh, I guess anything can happen when you travel through strange portals. At least hopefully we don't have to run to get through the body of the mini, that would be, uh, Definitely worse. Maybe we can get rescued by um, the one brown. As I come to think of it, the one brown wasn't really rescuing anybody. Yeah, it's not a mistake to do so. Where's my compass? At least for some reason, there's still a north uh, magnetic field. Star that doesn't look uh, as young as it once was. So the only thing I've uh, I found that wasn't bare rock was a pool of lava surrounded by all those people. Oh, you know what I just realised? I'm not going to be able to shoot arrows very well. Uh, 
and not with low gravity. Ah, oh, it's going to be all different. All my memory of how arrows work is going to be kind of fucked up. I'm gonna test to see. Can I knock you out? No. Alright. Can I run and jump and get away, maybe? Probably, but uh, I'll be careful not to fall to my death. In fact, there's uh, big creatures that are also from System Shock 2, aren't they? They're like that. I forget what they're called. Well, that might explain why I've got fire arrows, you know, it'd be useful for them. Also, at least with fire arrows, I wouldn't have to worry about uh, arcs and gravity. I wonder how far down I can actually successfully go without hitting an edge. Oh, there's more ground there. Is that. That's not a moon, that's an orby thing. Stop, stop, take off the edge, Garrett. What is this orby thing? What? Okay. Well, these are some very nicely constructed caves. I'm already liking the... Uh, Geometry here. If a little uncertain of the uh, actual setting. Right, another hard save. Need to find an antidote. What are these things? Oh, they're just transparent but solid. Okay. Actually feels a little like the more of chaos, but more more chaotic, more more alien. Um, pun not intended. I'll take a fire arrow. That sounds like lava. I probably don't want to walk in there, right? Oh, no, I can't. I'm gonna try anyway for the sake of uh, learning. Monster, and I see a couple of dead people. That sound like a sleeping monster. Or not. Uh, I might try going the other way just for now. Really sure I want to wake those guys up. I do really like the way these caves are done. There, uh, the roof really low and imposing. I want to. Um, I think I'm going to open this one up in drum it afterwards. Ooh. Fire arrow, fire arrow. Like six. I guess they're going to be my primary form of weaponry. I will open this up in drone mode afterwards to examine this construction because I, I do like the way it looks. There's another force field. Hmm. Firing magic arrows, magic missiles. What is this thing? Can't open the door or the force field door, it does. Okay, so one closes it. I don't know if it's super early. Alright. So I can get through there. Now there's a hole down here. I hope I could suddenly go down, but I'm not sure I could go back up. This is in uh, sort of eastern side of the thing. I don't have any junk objects I could drop to mark this just for later. No. Got holy water. What's holy water good for? 
run into ordinary undead here, are we? That would be a little uh, too normal. Oh, there's a hole. Oh, this is where we dropped down, maybe. No. Maybe this is another way we could have dropped down. Okay. Well, maybe that's the actual way up, given the low gravity. Not quite. Still a bit too high. Ooh, diamonds. One thing they still have on alien planets. Uh, did I check my objectives at all, right? Find the antidote, don't harm any Hammerite explorers, okay. I mean, are they gonna harm me, though? Surely, if they came through this portal, which they shouldn't have, seeing as how it was apparently uh, quite taboo for them, then surely... I've lost my train of thought. Surely they shouldn't have come through. Surely they should uh, have stayed well away from it. Now these ones are blue and that one's red. Um, does that mean anything? These, these thingies. I don't know. Looks like a bone there on the floor too, so... Let's just stay away from the red ones, just in case. It could be... hurty. Or they could just mark a different area. I don't know. Also, I am pretty much guaranteed to get hopelessly lost in these games because uh, everything looks the same. Is there some more bodies or the same bodies? I don't know. Well, this passage seems to go on a fair way. Let's see if we can collect more. <coughs> oh shit. Was that supposed to be the poison or was that me running into something? I saw a gas cloud. So I don't know you either way. Oh, these are different bodies. Wait, that's a that's not a hammerite or a human, that's a It's a mutant. What's this thing? Crumpled paper. My brothers and sisters, in addition to instructions regarding the heart of fire, there is a brief history included in the glyphs. It seems that this place is not a last place of torment, but only where a final judgment is made. If one is found worthy, then one may leave. And if one is found unworthy, then eternal damnation awaits. I can hardly believe that the Builder would allow such a scheme. So perhaps it is only a myth invented to explain the great evil which confronts us. Kelvin. Is this Kelvin then? Uh, perhaps so. Let's see if he's corpse like or zombie fired or very gross looking, but I can't can't pick him up at all. So some of these have fire arrows at them and some of them don't, okay. Diamond. I'll take that. You know, I won't come away empty handed from this uh, alien world. Empty headed, maybe. Green lights over there. Oh, another door. Alright. Fire arrows? No. It's just in the door I came in, was it? No, I don't think so. But how am I supposed to know? Right, where's that bit of paper? I'm gonna drop this paper by this door as a marker. It looks weird, it doesn't look white, it kind of gets a little orange. Oh, 
Right. Okay. Can I open this door? So I killed them. I can't see a switch. I don't think I can go this way anyway. I do see a nugget on the floor. Right. I guess I'm going this way. I'll keep my keep my marker. Scrap of paper. Electronic sound, those orbs make when I drop them. Stay out of the way of these magic missiles. Alright, let's drop, drop my paper here as a marker of the door I came through. Fire arrows? Yes. So I haven't been here before. Whoa, 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 what happened there? Something exploded behind me and I have no idea what or why. That's disconcerting. So one of these red things, do they explode? Wait, is this where I've been before? Is this the same? No, I think that's a different downward spot, isn't it? Oh. I mean... I know I was complaining about all the same corridors in the other levels, but uh, it does kind of make sense here, even if I don't want it to. I definitely haven't been here before, I would have taken a loop. I don't know about these red things. What's this? Another body. Well, uh, my objective, don't know how many of the Amorite Explorers, well I seem to have found many of them pre-harmed. There's another hole in the ground over there. Some more bodies, alright, let's go around to the left. There's another magic missile. So, I see the orbs are red on the red sides of these things and blue on the blue sides, interesting. Mm -hmm. If I go down any of these chutes, it's going to be a one-way trip. There's another... No, it's not a body, it's just a lump of ground. Alright. I'm just going to test something here. Okay. Oh, somebody heard that. Who? Where? I didn't know, but I didn't know there was anybody around to hear. I was just trying to see if those, if it was those that exploded. Oh wait, I've been here already. I'm going around in circles now. So that guy, okay. So that, must, that red blue door must be the one I uh, went through the first time. The very first door I went through. So I've got to go back through it and check out, well, firstly this angry guy now. Perhaps also the bodies that were near him. There may be some relevant information. At some point I'm going to have to go down to the next level, but I want to finish exploring this level quite thoroughly first, I think. This way. Don't remember. Oh, he was there. Okay. Um, 
loot but no info. But then I haven't been in this room before. Oh. Ah. Another way down. I didn't notice those things on the roof above either. I wonder what's up with that. So what's the difference between the blue things and the red things? I guess it's... Whoa! Whoa! So some of those are traps. Okay. That's what exploded before. That's... Well, I guess useful to know. Don't walk directly in front of the eyes. I guess they do look like eyes, don't they? <laughs> um, well, this is back where we came in. That explains the uh, explosions I heard before. So have I explored everywhere on this level then? I guess I need to pick a hole to jump down. How about this from here? Here goes nothing. Best place to drop down. Let's not go in front of it. Okay, well, there's another scrap of paper there, and some more dead people. I was just going to say, I must run again soon. The evil grows close. It is an eternity since I entered these caverns, and I am no closer to my escape. How may anyone traverse this place to do the things written in the glyphs? I know how to escape. It is plainly written, but I am too weak to act. And now I nearly wish I had never known these secrets. It would then not be such a great frustration, and I could soon surrender instead to this utter hopelessness. Well, there, uh... Oh. There's creatures here. There's another one of those guys down there, and there's a floaty thing. Hmm. There's not much darkness either that's, that's clear. A lot of this is quite visible. There's another level down below, okay. What is this? They explode easily and draw lots of attention, apparently. Mm hmm. Oh, there's another one of them. Noises. Oh, there's a big, big guy there as well. He's also semi transparent. Well, I 
I guess it made him angry. He's given up. Maybe they will soon as well. I certainly don't feel very safe with all these uh, things wandering around. I don't suppose they'll be friendly. Try to go that way looks darker, but that way looks might be well the monster the monster guy this big guy wasn't down that way. So if he gives up searching and walks away, then maybe I'll head down that way. Right there he goes. I only shoot fire arrows if I haven't taken the... No, I'm pretty sure the ones that shot at me before still had. Uh, but I'd already taken the fire arrow from them and they still shot at me. Okay, another force field door. And darkness, this looks like a decent place to uh, make another hard save. See what shooting. What's this say? What evil have I done to deserve such damnation? I am racked with great fear and thirst and hunger, lost here with no hope. Should a rescue party even consider this world by happenstance, will they discover my cowering body in these shadows? And then what? I will now crawl behind a particle wall of the red globe chamber. If I am later found, whether dead or alive, then I plead with thee, my brothers. Show me a final mercy and cast my broken body living or dead, into the glowing abyss of this place. Uh, Alright, so we have a uh, somebody in this chamber wanting to be thrown into the abyss. As a bonus objective, maybe? Now going to the blue, blue globe chamber, so he's not going to be in this one. That final sound effect there, that's that's the same sound effect that the energy globes in uh, Half-Life 2 and Portal make when they uh, explode. Oh, hello. Oh, great, we've got fire element elementals as well. This guy's gonna be knocked out. Nope. He's gonna kill me, isn't he? Shut up. Well, he just about killed me. Hmm. I guess stealth is the name of the game. Or sniping. 11 fire arrows. It doesn't feel like enough that I can just waste them on all these guys, but uh... Oh dear, it's another one of those things. Jellyfish creatures. Oh! Double kill. Well, okay. That's not bad to know. I've made the fire elementals angry, but uh, they should be easy enough to douse if they come this way. Right, so the explosions of those jellyfish is big enough to take out other things. That is useful information.
All right. Feels a little safer here. I don't really think of a weapon to take on everything, but uh, some things certainly. There's another way down. Another written note. If I arrows. My wife and I were to have a son or daughter soon, and she begged me not to leave her. But I owed a duty to our Supreme Master. Did he not say that the new order was a higher calling than any other? Now, if our Master were here, perhaps then I could put a sword into his hand, and command him to stand upon his own feet and straighten his own spine against his enemy, and by such an act, know for himself the hardships of his higher calling. What's he got there in his hand? Oh, it's just his hand. Shining up in the light. Alright, so here's a way down, but not a way forward, I guess. So I go around the other way. Back where the uh, other jellyfish and big guy was. Maybe I can catch them together and snipe the jellyfish and lastly dispose of both. And there's another way down here. So I can certainly keep descending. But there's supposed to be someone hiding behind a force field in a red globe chamber. Maybe it's maybe it's that one up above. But if so, there's no way I'm gonna get back, right? It's not gonna be possible to get back. I can keep going down, I can't go back up. I would love to have another healing potion though. Well, there's the jellyfish. I hear the big big dude, but I can't see him. Is there another passageway over there? It looks like there's another passageway. Did he see me? I can't tell. There's a passage right there, alright, and there's a big guy. With some more fire elementals. Fun. Let's stay away from them. Oh, if I can. It's not my flesh that betrays me, it was the fire elemental. Oh, look at all these guys here. Group up, guys. Is not ours. That's right. This is bad. I'm just wasting these. I just went right through him. What? Keep missing him, we might be able to kill him, right? Yeah. I'm definitely running out of uh, arrows here. 
just used nine, I think, nine fight arrows on four people. That was definitely bad aiming. I'm definitely regretting it, and I'm thinking of maybe reloading. But maybe not. Maybe just wait for this fella to give up searching and go back. Oh, he sounds like he's giving up then. He sounds pretty uh, angry that he couldn't find anything. Not forever, no. Just long enough to get away. And keep you distracted up there. To get into this room. Which I probably don't need to get into even, right? Whoa! Nice bit of air. Oh, we do have another note. Brothers and sisters, I have broken my leg. And so this will be my last parchment scrap. I will try to drag myself to safety in the Red Globe area. And at all costs, preserve my journal with instructions for your escape. Find me, or find my body, and you may discover what you will need. I will write these instructions as clearly as possible as soon as I find another shadow in which to hide. Right, so someone has instructions for our escape. In the red globe area. Is there only one red globe area? I mean, there's lots of red globes, and I've been in several red globe areas, so... I'm far from certain which area he's referring to. We can go down again. Should I go down again? Maybe I should go down again. There's a gas arrow down there. There's two gas arrows down there. Oh, and there's an angry guy, right to the other side of the door. But I see a journal. What have we got this way? Another eye. Without a fire arrow. Okay, let's not step in its gaze. So I noticed as I was stepping on that uh, thing, that thing is made of wood. I can possibly get back up with a rope arrow. All right, I see why I said red globe area. There's an actual red globe there. Oh. Ow. It's bad. I got seen and nearly killed. But the door seemed to block all sound, apparently. Alright, let's see what this journal says. To my brothers, within this book I record my final words, hoping that you have outlived the consequences of my own clumsiness and stupidity. Fumbled into the glowing magma was the precious glyph tablet which explained the master portal gateway. Here I write its meaning as best as I can recall. There are four lava pits within the caverns, each containing a floating globe. When a globe has been touched, its own crystal star can be accessed in the main magma chamber. Once all four crystal stars are touched, then the way of escape opens. An explorer may return to the planet's surface to access additional globes. There are many entrance points from the outer surface. If you are reading this, then you have found at least one way in, and the other entrances operate the same way. I was able to observe the inner workings of only one globe lava pit. Although I was not able to reach the inside of the globe itself, I did not. I did see what may have been an access actuator. Within the main magma chamber far below are four glowing crystal stars, each covered in a particle field. Once its own lava pit globe has been touched on the inside, green for green, red for red, etc., an actuator will become functional, which can remove the particle field protecting each crystal star of the same colour. Once the last crystal has been accessed, a path of some sort will form, leading to the way of escape. Symbols on the tablet describe what must take place. The traveller will then cast himself into the heart of fire. Is such a leap of faith a test of courage? Or is it only perhaps a way to end the lives of witless intruders? 
I will never know. As far as I could learn, there is only one way up to the surface world. Colored transport devices may be found, and these will send any creature to some corresponding place on the surface. It would be a simple matter for me to reach this room if not for my broken leg injured in the same fall which dislodged the tablet. Now I cannot climb anywhere, and so I am trapped here to await my doom from thirst, starvation, or brutal attack at the hands of the flying overlords. If at all possible, please send word to my family. Your obedient servant, Kelvin. New objective. Looks like Kelvin lost the tablet, but his journal gives all the details you need. Access the Heart of Fire. After we find the antidote, no doubt. So, two gas arrows. I wonder if I can gas these big, big dudes. Oh shit. I think we've got seen again. through him. Not fair. I know I'm almost dead. I'm just gonna run. Sorry guys. Uh, I wonder if I can walk across that. Let's try, shall we? Nope! Uh, sort of. What? There's a force field here that I can slide across and get stuck in. Uh, I'm stuck. Not fully stuck. Well, I think we lost Mr. Monster Guy at least. No, no, he's coming. Oh no, he's just searching. He will find us. Almost certainly. Close your mouth. Give up. There's nothing here. No, he saw me. Alright, well, uh, he's seen me too, I guess. Fire elementals seen me. This is a bad idea. Very bad idea. We're in the main magma chamber now. chamber. So I guess I don't need to worry too much about the monster man there, but that was a big red globe I couldn't do anything with. Which well, is no doubt important. Alright, we have a white, a blue, red, and green places to go. And fire elementals everywhere, and only ten water arrows. As far as I can see... I'm not going to be able to make my way back into those. There's no way I can jump up there. So I'm going to have to find this transport to the surface and then find another way in. Well, that's going to be uh, annoying. It's going to be annoying for sure. Also, while we were in the red glow chamber there, we didn't find that. Whoops! Shit, this is going to be my death. No? Right, it's not my death. Oh, there's one of the crystals, protected by the force fields, okay. What's over there? Looks like another bit of paper in that chamber. Uh, Alright, well I didn't die. What have we got here? Steps? Steps! 
And I think the mechanists have been here. There's a Victrola. Oh, we almost almost got killed by the trap. Uh coloured transport devices. Mines, flash mines, holy water. Healing potions! And, and water arrows. And moss arrows. And rope arrows. Why do I need rope arrows? Is that healing potion finished taking effect? I think so. Let's drink, drink this one as well. Alright. Uh, oh, and another moss arrow. So, what's happened here? Let's read the book first. Arcelius, I applaud your discoveries. The intact working machines you have brought back open great insights into the amazing arts of the ancient precursors. Every day we learn even more by studying these mysterious devices, particularly the mechanical eyes you found this very last time. They are most remarkable and valuable items. I had hoped to give you far more time to study your new research site, but I can no longer promise that our side of the portal will remain functional beyond a few more days and it is nearly certain that your expedition will be our only hope for discovery. I await your return with considerable anxiety. Cavador, assistant to the chief alchemist. Alrighty, what's this? Greetings. In the unlikely event that my servants discover sentient beings among the ruins of this place, I, I wish to speak with thee. I, of course, am not here. It is merely my voice, recorded and made alive again by an invention of my own brilliance. These items my servants have borrowed will be returned to thee soon. In the meantime, accept this very machine with my valuable voice imprinted upon it as a gift to thee that thou wilt always know of me and that our two great civilizations may remain bonded across the vastness of space and time. For I am quite certain that the builder himself would not have sent me to thee unless it were in accordance with his own plan. All right, so uh, he hoped to meet sentient life down here, but didn't. Uh, all right, so those must be the transport devices that take me back up to the surface, or possibly just straight into each of the worlds, according to the colors, I guess. Oh, whoops. Not quite ready to go there yet. Keep exploring down here a little more first. Whoa, 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 whoa. There's gas arrows over there. There's another couple of probable buttons, I guess. Clicky buttons. Oh, I see loot. Let's see if I can get this without dying, huh? We also need to find uh, Mr. What's his name? The red. The red guy? Uh, the guy in the red room, you said he was hiding behind a force field and cast his body into the places. Now, I wonder if I could make the jump over to that and if it will kill me or not. I'm going to try. Oh, bad idea. Bad idea. Okay, no, firstly, I can't make the jump because there's an invisible wall. Let's try this jump. Nope. It's not as acrobatic as you feel, as you feel, Garrett. Despite the uh, thing. now, what is this? Right, that doesn't work because I haven't done whatever I need to do with the blue globe. All right, how did I get down here? I guess I just fell. I guess I'm not getting back up again. Maybe, maybe I can. Oh yeah. All right, I can go around. Whoops, careful with that uh, after touch. I 
mass arrow. So this one has four bolts for under two more gas arrows. That's six now. None of which are the none of those are working, of course. Okay. That's over there. It's the green crystal. And the red crystal. Some way there's a way up there, because there's a written note, I guess maybe climbing the walls, I don't know. Don't know. Whoa, 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 whoa. Careful, Gary, careful. Right, what does this journal say? Again, regarding each of the main things. So, four lava plates, pits, each containing a flitting globe. When a globe has been touched, then we can access its crystal star. I tried to touch the red one, but I wasn't able to. I was just floating across the thing. Um... I was able to observe the inner workings of only one globe access, uh, one globe lava pit. Not able to reach the inside of the globe itself, I guess I need to get to its inside. Did see what may have been an access actuator. So, I'm gonna need to go find said globes again. In order to find actuators, to access them. Let's take stock, we've got 17 broadheads, 4 fire arrows. Six gas arrows, twenty-two water arrows. Oops. So my goal should be snipe the floating jellyfish dudes and avoid the people who run around and put the big ones and the small ones. Floating jellyfish dudes are almost invisible, so Alright, fewer fire elementals makes me happier. What have we got here? What? Shite. I think I saved. I only wanted to lean over the edge, not run over the edge there, Garrett. There's some steps there, right? And as far as I could, could tell by the sound, these things are made of wood. Theory, rope arrow is possible here, but uh, practice, I don't know. Maybe in one of the chambers I'm going to need to use lots of rope arrows, and that's why they've given me five of them so far. Careful. She's got this very dangerous uh, habit of sliding forward when on a downhill slope when stopping. So coming to a stop at an edge is a risky endeavor. I'm not sure which way I'm going. I didn't, can't see the other two crystals from down here. I don't need to get at them now, of course, but uh, I can... Just trying to find my way around, check for any other enemies in this chamber. Probably none. Alright, there's the red crystal, and... Uh, what's that on the floor next to it? Flash bomb. Alright, I'll take a flash bomb. So it's only the green one I haven't been to yet. Now where was that uh, passageway I saw up in the ceiling? Okay, you can climb that. Well, there's a bunch of them, I guess. one that didn't seem to be associated with any of the colours, right? Oh, I don't know. Well, the green green crystal was down this way. Not down that hole. Not just fall down. There's more step, steppy things there, but uh, that one's got something on it. 
I think I should check it out. An arrow. This one doesn't, does it? No, it does. Alright. Another rip arrow. Really, probably not worth the risk, right? Oh, what the heck. There's, it's not quite loot, but it's items, and that's always, you know, always valuable. Definitely worth going for. Who wouldn't want to uh, go and grab rip arrows if they can? And again, I guess that just tells us that <laughs> I could have made the jump. Can't I can't judge jumps and stuff now with this different gravity. All right, somewhere down this way. There, I think it's the green. Wait, the green star. Oh wait, there's another passage here. Another eye of doom. Don't see any fire arrows in it. And the green star, which. Has no loot for us, does it? No. Nope. Alright, so. Yeah, that's. Wait, there's another passage. Oh, so there's a rope. We could use a rope arrow in that from somewhere. Interesting. Maybe from the white side? Don't fall in, Garrett. He's not really a very uh, experienced low gravity uh, not very experienced in low gravity, so uh, that's quite dangerous in the time. Wandering around. Be a lot less dangerous if it was water and not lava. Down the bottom. Well, let's see if I can see that sticky outy thing which I, which could take a rip arrow. From somewhere around here. There's the uh, Portal on the northwest side is the. Oops. Space. Uh, the keeper's spot with the uh, transport devices. I, how come I can't see this hole anymore? I should have pulled out my compass and got a bearing to tell me which side it was on, but. Uh, I suppose I could actually just walk rather than run for a little more safety. Yeah, walking is definitely a little safer. Oh, this is not the way to go. This is not the way to go. Let's try down here. Does that one have any rip arrows on it? It does. Should we try the same thing again? I guess we should. Well, Garrett, not that thing. Not that thing. Tried to jump and the jump didn't work. Oh wait, we're way back here, okay. Hadn't saved recently, so there's another Here, another chasm with Rivera's on it. Yeah. No, it wasn't here. Oh well, if I find it again, I'll go for it again. Right now, I'm looking for the way down.
Careful. Right, get my bearings again. So, that's got a bit of paper, but doesn't seem to have a... That's not the one with the rope purchase. Let's get it a bit further out where I can see more. Where was the chamber or passage I saw with an attachment for rope? I thought it looked like I could maybe get there from the white one, but which means it should be just up here. Maybe it was just one of those chambers I could see from above. Oh yeah, it is that just that one. All right, so I can get over the top of it. I don't need to worry about getting underneath it. Okay. So how do I get there? That is on the. Eastern side. All right, I'll go around back up the top and have a look at the east and at the southwest. Somewhere here, here we go, here's another chasm with another rope arrow in it. Eight rope arrows. I would say this one we should just be able to mantle, but uh, apparently not. Let's only jump our way out. Alright, let's get back on top and go around to the eastern side where that scrap of paper was hiding in the wall. There's got to be a way to get to that. Unless I've seen this and think it was a scrap of paper, but. I don't know. Oh, what have we got there? Oh, that's not that's these things again. If I was just seeing those, I'm gonna be really upset. I thought I thought there was something else I was seeing. So hard to tell because there's an inside and an outside and it's confusing the different It's just those uh, ledges I was seeing, rather than actual. I don't know, I can't see anything else up here unless... Unless it's that. It's, mm, there, is, there is a hole there. It might be that hole. Alright, that is... Just to the west of this uh, double ledge chasm. West, west of its southern end. Let's try going up there. Let's try not getting stuck on the same little bit of terrain there. Can I make that jump? Probably not. Nope. Nope. Let's go around past the eye again. I guess I'll be less floaty when I'm walking. A lot less floaty. That's too slow. Gotta run, gotta run. 
Take the risks. So, there's a double chasm here. Oh, well, chasm with two lots of wooden things on it. And just west of its southern end, so down here, around here, is supposed to be this other passage. I could see this other hole. Aha! Uh -huh. Here we are indeed. There is a hole. With something in it. And some collision problems. Careful now. We don't want to go all the way down. Just far enough to pick up the paper. It was a piece of paper. My brothers and sisters, the glyphs speak of starships at the lower chamber level. These are protected by magic fields and may only be removed by touching the insides of the large floating globes of the same colour in the caverns, those which float above deep lava pits. Find me in the red globe area and I will tell you what more I have learned. Kelvin. Alright, so that doesn't tell me anything new, uh, but I guess if we'd come a different way first and not found Kelvin on the way here, then we would have found that. It's a white dot. There's a little tiny white white dot there. Ah, uh, probably just a rendering issue. Stuck in the centre of my field of view as if it was a crosshair. Alright. Let's go back to, was it the northwest side? That's a pretty steep wall to climb up, Garrett. Good work. Uh, I think it was the northwest side where the uh, little chamber with all the teleporters was. Or whatever they are. The coloured things for surface access. So I'm going to go back there. Yeah, that was just down here, wasn't it? Uh, or was it down here? Yeah, here it is. Northwest side, indeed. Oh, we left the yeah, we left the door open, and there's still traps. Yeah, better remember always run in here. Not don't don't dilly dally on the way. All right, well, uh, here we are. We can choose another colour, but it has been an hour, an hour and forty minutes. So I'm going to end this episode here, and next episode we will find our way back into another section. Uh, I might go straight back to the red globe section again and try and get to the red globe. I don't know yet. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you for the next episode.